Hello, I'm Dr. Lawrence W. Moore, and welcome to this edition of Sunday Night Synthesis. I'm trying to do this a little quicker than usual, so I don't have an intro to the video with my face on it, so this is the closest approximation. The welcome page to my website, lwmmusic.com. <clears throat> so anyway, um, I haven't done episodes the last two weeks. And that's uh, mostly because uh, class of, classes have gotten quite busy in the semester. I teach at two different uh, uh, institutions of higher learning. And so I've kind of gotten quite busy. But um, at least I think this will be a useful episode. And I'll try to keep doing things weekly from here on out. Uh, in any case, for those of you who are new, I want to let you know the website. And if you go to the learning page, there's a page here, a sub-page called Sunday Night Synthesis. We're currently on Series 3. And uh, right up top here, the episode I'm filming right now is Episode 6. And that will have the uh, PD example for the download so that you could download the patch that I'm working with in this episode. I might also point out that you can find... Uh, uh, and in something that I will be referring to in my description here started all the way back here in series two towards the end of the series with um, this wait a minute this episode here granular synthesis it was uh, series two episode 11 I'm going to be using the same um, table playback method in this as that and uh, the effect that we're going to be working on today has relationship with uh, a basic granular enveloping technique that's described in this episode here so if you find this episode interesting you probably want to check out series 2 episode 11 and find out about granular synthesis and after watching that you'll see the relationship to what we're doing here because granular synthesis does employ some amplitude modulation. So anyway, this episode's about uh, amplitude modulation and ring modulation specifically. Uh, so what is amplitude modulation? Well, amplitude modulation is when you take the amplitude of a waveform, a sound, and uh, use another oscillator to control it, uh, its amplitude. And I made a patch here where I'll be able to show you as an example. For those of you who have seen a number of my examples recently, you know a lot of times I like to use a table to record a sample into and then work with it. And that's the mechanism I have here. If you go back to the granular synthesis episode that I mentioned, you could see about this stuff and how it works with this looping table here, which is also this mechanism as well. So to save time, rather than going through all that again, especially for those who have already seen that episode, I'm just recommending you go to Season 2, Episode 11, and it describes all this bit in the beginning of that, because basically all this is is a table you can record to, and then play back here, and it'll loop it for you. And then I'm just basically going to use the table's output, and I'm going to employ a ring modulation on its output. You could technically just use an ADC, analog to digital converter object, and just route that through the ring modulation down here and um, do it in a real time thing. But since I'm speaking to you through a screen recorder and everything, rather than mess with that, I thought I'll just record something in here and modulate that. And then that way it's easier for you to understand me and tell the difference between me and the recording we're working on. So anyway, let me record something into this table first. Hello there, how are you doing today? There we go. Now, <clears throat> this mechanism here, a toggle box up here, will play back the table and it will allow you to uh, basically hear it so long as you go down here turn up the overall master volume a little bit I'm gonna put it right about there and then I'm also going to 
scroll that thing over just to make sure my wet dry mix is actually to the dry end to the left side and we should just hear the table playback normally now hello there how are you doing today yeah we do so anyway what is ring modulation well basically up to this point this is where the output of playing this table comes out and so this is the ring modulation stuff right here basically what I have here is a slider going through a pack F50 and line tilde object just so its output of values comes through at the audio rate and is smoothed by the line object and so that way as the frequency of this oscillator changes it changes smoothly and you don't hear artifacts or little snapping sounds as it gets moved and so this oscillator which is oscillating basically a sine wave is um, what's going to be affecting the amplitude that's outputting from tab right here so this is the sound of the table coming out into an amplifier and here we're basically going to oscillate that. I've multiplied the output of the oscillator by 0 0.5 and added it to 0 0.5 to make the range of the oscillator 0 to 1. Normally an oscillator's output goes up to 1 and down to negative 1 in a waveform display like that and I want it to be 0 to 1 because that's the values of amplitude a range of 0 to 1 in PD and so basically what I do here is by cutting it in half I make it range between negative 5 and positive 5 and then when you add 0 0.5 to it it makes its range 0 to 1 and so that's what happens there and this is the frequency of that oscillator now after that that output goes down here to another amplifier and then down here is the output of the tab right without this oscillator affecting it so this is our dry signal here normal playback of the table and this side is our wet signal which is basically including the oscillator here that's performing the amplitude modulation and the ring modulation I'll describe the difference in a moment but it's really simple ring modulation is a form of amplitude modulation. Now dry wet here this is the slider that basically at this end as the slider goes up the amplitude here increases so it's a range of 0 to 1 and this slider goes from 0 to 1 so this basically increases the amplitude of the wet signal the one affected by the amplitude modulation and at the same time by putting it through a swap 1 object whatever comes out of the slider goes out the right outlet here and one comes out the left outlet that's what swap does and then basically you get one minus whatever the number is in other words the inverse and that one once again goes to a pack and line objects just like over here to smooth them out so basically as this one goes up from zero to one this one will go down from one to zero so that way you're basically having your dry side and your wet side being one half of, of each other so basically as you turn this up you get all wet and as you turn it down you get all dry so that's the way you can balance your wet and dry mix and so now um, let's play this table again and then as I do that I will turn up the wet mix and then I'm going to turn up the speed of the oscillator here and we'll hear how it sounds hello there how are you doing today 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 so anyway 
Um, you heard a little bit of that, and you heard the effect of ring modulation. Basically, amplitude modulation is any time you're taking the output of sound, this being the output of the table, and you make its amplitude go up and down in an oscillated motion. And so, as you increase the rate of that, as soon as your rate becomes something faster than like 20 or 40 hertz, then it's in an area we call ring modulation. Because then it's going so fast that now it's creating some sideband frequencies, um, which sound like extra frequencies that are standing out in the sound. And it's basically a different effect than when you have it slow, where here it just sounds like the sound going on and off at a certain speed, you know, which we call tremolo. Hello there, how are you doing today? And as you speed it up, hello there, how are you doing today? Hello there, how are you doing today? Hello there, how are you doing today? Hello there, how are There we go. And so I have the wet mix all the way up, so we're hearing just this side. But you can balance one with the other, and are you get some today? effects that way that are... Hello there, how are you doing today? Hello there, how are you doing today? Like here it sounds a little ripply. Hello there, how are you doing today? But it's today? not completely disappearing. Hello there, how are you doing today? Hello there, Whenever how you're are dealing you with amplitude today? modulation... For example, if I were to turn this all the way down and have this on wet, all the way wet, which I'm going to do now, basically what you're going to hear, hello there, how are you on. doing today? Oh, hello you do hear there, it. how are you yeah. doing today? Hello there, how are you doing today? We're fortunate in that matter because sometimes when you're doing amplitude modulation, maybe it'll be at the zero part of the oscillator's movement, in which case the sound is off. So that's why it's always good to have a wet-dry mix, so that that way you can measure the amount of amplitude modulation that you have, and any time you turn it off, you get a full signal coming through. If you were to just turn off this amplifier using a slider, you would hear no sound. But what we want from a wet-dry mix is to hear the sound, but the one that is unaffected. So that's why I set that up. Now, some interesting uses of this. I did mention, I guess, in the title, that this is a way to get like a Dalek voice sound from Doctor Who. And when you hear Doctor Who, both the old and new series, like Davros's voice, sounds like it's a ring modulation as well. Um, but let me give this, for example, a, a recording that sounds better for that. In which case, I got to try to imitate a Dalek vocally first so the ring modulation effect just makes it sound better you are the doctor you shall be exterminated that's pretty good <laughs> let's try it now you are the doctor you shall be exterminated you are the doctor. You shall be exterminated. So you gotta find the sweet spot where it sounds you bad. You are the doctor. You shall be exterminated. You are the doctor. You shall be exterminated. Oh, this is pretty cool here. You are the doctor. You shall be exterminated. You are the doctor. You shall be exterminated. There. That sounds good there. It's slow enough that you hear the ripples. And that's um, uh, kind of like present in the Dalek effects. Of course, when you record this and you put on an effect, then you can EQ it afterwards and really make it sound nice. But anyway, that's an overview of ring modulation and amplitude modulation. And uh, this is a good PD patch for you to use if you want to play with that. And then if you look at some of my other patches, you can see how to take this out and record it to file. So that way you can use what you make with this. So anyway, that's it for this week's Sunday Night Synthesis. 
uh, next week. Uh, I'm hoping that I will have the time in my schedule to bring you another interesting synthesis topic. Until then, enjoy. Enjoy.